Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and in front of me today, I have a bulky retail box that feels like it's filled with rocks of 2008-2009 MVP from Upper Deck. Uh, for whatever reason, I have my cold back, it's sort of returned, I have no idea why this is, why I've been sick all winter. If someone could emoji me some uh, medication, that'd be nice. Uh, what do you need to know about this product, if we can get some odds here, boom! odds on favorites and let's zoom in a bit uh, not much written on here one thing I can tell you 24 packs per box 8 cards per pack for 192 cards base set runs 1 through 300 so that would be 300 card base set and the rooks would be 301 through 392 so that'd be 92 rookies which is kind of bizarre that would actually amount to a 13% chance of hitting the stammer don't forget 2008 2009 would be the stammer Parallels, gold scripts, number to 100. Super scripts, number to 25 per use. Uh, what else? There would happen to be some two-on-two -two jerseys. So that is a potentiality. Uh, those are one in 48, so it's a 50% chance given the fact that they're 24 packs. One-on-one -on -one autos, front and back dual autos. So those would be one of 720, um, which is a bit bonkers. Uh, that would amount to a little over 3% to be, I guess, 3.333333%. Uh, what else do you need to know about this product? There are, so one or two packs would be rookies, one or two packs would be base inserts. There are these winter classic inserts, which is a 20 card set, uh, checklist, so we could uh, potentially get those. That would actually be Detroit versus Chicago. There is actually, factually, uh, in reality, a winter classic Wrigley Field card. So that would be one of the things that we would be able to peruse. Uh, we could strike, hit, pull. Um, other um, base inserts, there's a bunch of base inserts. There are the Alexander the Greats. I don't know if those are only in the hobby boxes or whether they're in the retail boxes. Uh, in the retail boxes, there should be the Magnificent Seven cards, which includes a Guy Lafleur card, which is what I would like to pull. Um, and then there are first line phenoms, uh, I believe, in the uh, hobby boxes for sure. Not sh not certain about the this winter classic box, but we shall see. We shall seashells by the seashore. Um, bit fuzzy again because I have another uh, illness. I can't believe I'm sick all winter, man. Uh, I was in LA, and uh, I I didn't wear uh, enough articles of clothing apparently. So here are our packs. Uh, eight cards within each pack. Uh, I, I didn't actually mention the rookie class. Of course, the rookie class would be Carl Torres, Blake Wheeler, Abdel Kader, Brassard, Giroux, Brian Boyle, Voracek, Froelich, Cornquist, Dowdy, uh, the Stammer, and Peter Angelo, and Oshie. So those would be our rookie class from 2008-2009. And these are nice sort of silvery looking packs with eight cards per pack. Uh, we shall get a rookie every second pack, theoretically. Uh, so this is what the cards look like, 2008-2009 uh, MVPs. Kind of clean looking cards. I actually kind of like them. So let's see what we uh, can maneuver. There's Alexander Steen. There's Philip the Thrillip. Uh, Patty Kane, who's been on fire of late. Robert Nielsen, Jason Arnott. And our first rookie would be Mihalik, uh, who's a known rookie from this particular rookie class, believe it or not. And he was a 30th overall, which is nice to know. Uh, Marty Havlett. So these are the Winter Classic cards, and we've received two of them already. So these are base inserts. Uh, Marty Havlett and the Thomas Holmstrom, and as you see, they are from Detroit versus Chicago in Wrigley Fields. So that's basically it. Let's let's roll through these now that I've stated uh, the less obvious, and let's see what we can uh, pull from here. Green, Jeremy Roenick and his latter latter day Saints, uh, Michael Pekka, and here's a rookie of Adam Party. Adam Party is our second rookie, and then we have two of these Winter Classic cards. So it appears to be that most of, most of the inserts would happen to be these Winter Classics. And we have the friends and, and the Big Buff. Uh, of course, he won a Stanley Cup in 2010, did the Big Buff. Uh, this feels thicker, I'm thinking. Does it? I don't know. Someone faxed me medication because I'm not clear at it. Email it to me as an email attachment. Create your own emoji, the syringe emoji. Uh, continuing on, guys. Drew Stafford, Scotty Gomez, Daniel Sedin, Winnick, 
Oh, cool. So we hit the Judaudi right off the right off the top, off the jump, off the hop, off the skip. Uh, nice to hit the Dowdy. I'd like to hit the Stammer as well, but it's good to hit at least one of those. I think you know when you th figure out Giroux, Stammer, um, you know Peter Angelo. Uh, you know we should theoretically with a hundred percent certain. Oh, cool! We hit the Wrigley Field card. So I was hoping to hit this card. Um, this checklist of these Winter Classics. Uh, would happen to be 20 cards. Uh, I assume we'll get almost all of them. And we did hit the Wrigley Field card, which is what I wanted. I love these old school cards. Um, and then the Duncan Teeth card, named Forever Dun Dun Duncan Teeth because he lost most of his teeth during one of the playoff runs. Chris about Uye back when he was with the Caps. The next Hab, of course. Josh Harding. Fusilius. Our rookie, we hit the Chris Chelios and the Patrick Kane. And our rookie would be Boris Valabic. Valabic. Honest Labic. Yeah, these happen to be thick, so I assume that there are dummy inserts in here. Uh, yeah, totally. Factually, Mike Fisher. Had a nice career. Craig Rive, who was on the Habs. Darcy Tucker, who was also on the Habs. He started his career before... Heading off to uh, then in there. And then, boom. So Mark by Valor, that's another one of the insert sets. Uh, I, this checklist, the Mark by, by Valor, is a 50 card check, 15 card checklist, and it's nice to hit the Marty Brodeur. There it would be, and there it is. And again, Marion Hosa and Brian Campbell. Brian Campbell, a very solid defenseman uh, in his day. So as you see, um, this Winter Classic box really sort of highlights that winter classic from that year which is nice and interesting there's Samsonov and a Mazeros a Donald Brashear uh, who is cherished in Quebec and he dropped and also in Philadelphia for that matter Bergeron uh, there's Henrik Zanderberg and Lori Korpikoski Lori Korpikoski uh, easy for me to say. And we see that they're duplicates. So they so cake these with inserts, with these Winter Classic retail inserts, that they uh, provide duplicates, which is a little bit unnecessary. So that's something to be mindful of. But we would uh, be guaranteed to complete the entire set. I wonder whether there are grade eights. There are inserts within this product, certainly within the hobby box, which are which is a checklist of, uh, I assume, eight cards of Alexander the Great, i.e. OV. So those are also potential hits. Continuing on, cats. Uh, what is this thing? We shall see what it is. So two Winter Classic cards per thing. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this Sid the Kid. So this is the Winter Classic cards. It might be card number one on the checklist. Uh, I'm not sure. Does it state where? Can you guys see that? Yes, yeah, Winter Classic one. So this is just a <laughs> generic Winter Classic card and they have Sid, uh, I think, he, didn't, he get, didn't he get nailed in the head during this Winter Classic, unless I'm mistaken? Uh, please comment under the video, I believe he did. And here is a First Line Phenoms, which is another insert set, uh, which is a 15 card checklist, and we hit the Zach Parise presently on your, presently on your wild. On and on, Samuelson. Patrick Laline, who you might remember from Ottawa, from a sense. There's Hemsky. I have a Hemsky card in the background somewhere. A rookie card, a future watch of Hemsky. See? Boom. Isn't that cool? Future watch, Hemsky. Everybody paying attention? Continuing on, uh, Rick Nash. I'm a bit loopy, guys. Sorry about that. Paul Bissonnette, a rookie. Uh, a Cristobal Ue. Um, Winter Classic, as well as a Nikki Lidstrom. Uh, Lidstrom had how many forced stamina shots? Something to that effect. Continuing on, we have a Iggy. Iggy. Carcillo. Jordan Tutu. Chris Phillips. Certainly duplicates, unfortunately. And we have a, oh, that's cool. So we have a first line phenoms, first line phenoms of Gino Malkin who was a second overall in 2004, I believe, after OV. Then Pavel Datsuk, who was a very late uh, draft pick. 
and Patrick Sharp. He's now a commentator uh, for home games. Commentator um, for Chicago hockey games, I believe, Patrick Sharp, is he not? Continuing on, guys. Nikki Backstrom, Keith Kachuk, Wade Redden, Alexander Burroughs, a Marion Hossa, and a Luke Shen rookie. So we hit the Luke Shen rookie, um, whether or not, and he was a really, really high draft pick. And I think people sort of slightly regard him as a bit of a waste now, unfortunately. I think he was drafted uh, fifth overall in 2008. So it would have been the, the draft year of all the cool cats. Um, I think, in fact, that, that draft went Stammer, Dowdy, Bogosian, Pichangelo, Shen, then Filatov, Colin Wilson, Bodker, Josh Bailey, and then Cody Hodgson. So that would have been rounding out the top 10. Myers was 12th, um, and Eric Carlson actually was 15th, believe it or not. <clears throat> so continuing on, two Winter Classics, we hit a Chris Osgood, Stanley Cup champ Chris Osgood, as well as a Marty Havlat. I think Osgood had two Stanley Cups. Jay Umberger. Retail box, man, uh, just a lot of base. Kyle Chipchura, Habs draft pick. Thomas Vanek, Jeff Carter, who had a, who had a great career, uh, was spectacular uh, in the uh, LA Kings runs. Jason Williams. And we have another Mark, Mark by Valor of Nick Lidstrom. And then we have a Thomas Holmstrom as well as a Brent Seabrook. Uh, another steady, capable, able, uh, beast on defense for a Stanley Cup dynasty in the Chicago Blackhawks. Boys, Mike Richards. And then we have a Tim Ramholt. Tim Ramholt. So we should, by the way, get 12 of these rookie cards. Um, Low-end rookie cards, nothing to write home about per se. There's Duncan Keith again, as well as a Pavel Datsuk again. Um, just, uh, you think you get a, winter, a lot of Winter Classic cards? This is just bonkers. Look at all of these. And, and the checklist is, what did I say? It was like 20 cards. So I think we're guaranteed to get the entire uh, subset. Bobby Lou, Shane Doan, Roly the Goalie, Mika Koivu, Marcus Sturm. And we have a Marked by Valor of O.V., uh, as I said, in the hobby boxes, you are guaranteed to get multiple Alexander the Great cards, which is an eight-card checklist. This is from the Marked by Valor checklist, which is a separate checklist. And we're still getting more and more and more and more and more and more of those Winter Classic cards. Uh, but this is a good box. I mean, I think you can get these for like 15 bucks. You have a 3%, chance of an auto, and you have half a chance of hitting a... Uh, a jersey car, a, a quad jersey actually, because it's it's two in the front and two in the back. There's Brent Burns um, hinting at the fact that he might uh, lose some teeth and uh, grow a beard. Ty Conklin, Jordan Chichu, and there's Zach Fitzgerald. Zach Fitzgerald, Marty Havlett, and Thomas Holmstrom. Continuing on here, guys. Um, Three percent chance of getting the auto. I don't think that's in the cards mathematically. Something I want to state, I recently read on Facebook, some cat hit the Pedersen and then he wanted to sell the Pedersen in order to buy another hobby box because he could do better than the Pedersen, thinking maybe he could hit an acetate or clear cuts or whatever it is in the, those products, uh, or an exclusives. That makes no sense to me. If you hit the Pedersen, you hit you get a 12% chance of hitting that card. That means you basically defied the poker odds and poker gods. Don't sell it to rebuy a new box on the off chance. It's the same thing as hitting a Pedersen, which is however much it's worth, and then and then just chucking it. So I wish people would listen to the math. The, the fact that people don't listen to the math makes it so that prices escalate for no apparent reason, and people chase their endorphin rushes. And uh, I love this kid, and Nick Backstrom. He makes he makes the grade eight look uh, as good as he is. 
Um, but you, you guys get what I'm saying? I'm saying understand the math, internalize the math, uh, and, and choose your price points based on the math, and don't overpay, and don't chase um, when you've already hit the best card in, in a hobby box uh, on the off chance that you'll hit the 0.5% chance of hitting in exclusives or whatever it is. It, it just won't happen mathematically. Anyways, that was my end of rant, guys. There you go, Peter Forsberg, Mark by Valor, and a Patrick Sharp, and a Chris Osgood, which <coughs> I think we've hit at this point multiple times. Continuing on, guys. Uh, let's see, another rookie maybe. So there's Pavel Datsik, Justin Williams, Tim Thomas, Peter Forsberg, Scotty Hartnell, and a Ryan Jones, a Ryan Jones rookie. Okay. Duncan Keith, as well as a Pavel Datsuk. Ryan Jones was a fourth rounder, played mostly on uh, Edmonton before the uh, big vanished to Europe. And there is Jamie Langdenbrunner, Chris Kunitz, who came up with the Ducks, David Backus, uh, Redeem Verbata, and we have a first line phenoms of Peter Mueller as well as a, another Wrigley Field, uh, and Jonathan Taves, finally a Jonathan Taves. What a cool photo. That's awesome. You have to love Jonathan Taves. And it's interesting, I mean, that team, Chicago, it looks like they're, they, it looks like they want the playoffs. They've got a nose for the playoffs at this point, which is fascinating given how terrible their start was. There's Thomas Caverle with his makeup on his cheeks and lips. Hedberg, Michelle Willette, there's George Larocque, another uh, cat who's well respected in Quebec. Uh, we have a John Philwick, which I've hit before in other boxes, and these two cats. Uh, Chris Chalios, who played until the age of like 46 or some craziness. Um, he's, yeah, he's one of those guys who could have played forever. Continuing on. 48, you tell me, I can't recall. Todd Bertuzzi, the Plex with his CH designated uh, turtleneck, Theodore, and Nikolai Kuhleman, hmm, Leaf, Christabel Ue, as well as another Nicky Lidstrom. So, I mean, the appeal of this box seems to be pretty much the winter classic stuff, uh, but you do have a 50% chance of hitting a um, as I said, a jersey. So that would be the things that they hit the pole of the box. And oh, here's one of the grade eights cards. So speak of the devil. This is what I was saying. These do exist. These grade eights, um, kind of cool looking. It's a nice little emblem MVP uh, grade eight card. Uh, there are only eight of these cards, and obviously they are all uh, OV cards. And and there we have it. And I guess each one sort of connotes something different. And this one would be Alex Ovechkin, 01. Uh, so this would be the first card on the checklist. So that's not bad. And then those two. I put a couple of packs aside because they felt better. They're either um, spacers or there's theoretically, potentially, ideally something in them, but who knows, 50% chance. Uh, I've been mostly on the side of the 50% recently, so I might not end up on that side. There's Kovalev, that's pretty cool looking. Uh, David Leguan, Hudler. Uh, one thing I haven't looked for, I didn't, I wasn't super careful about, was the superscripts and silver and um, gold scripts. So I have to, um, I would have to be careful about those. I might have missed one. There are the gold scripts are numbered to 100, and of course the superscripts are numbered to 25. Another grade eight. So we hit a second grade eight. So I guess we received two of these cats. Uh, another in the Winter Classic cards, and then I put two packs aside, so let's see what we have here. Nope. Sadly. Uh, Manny Legacy, Corey Perry, Nabokov Miller, Chris Campoli, Mark by Valor of Eric Stahl, uh, Zetterberg, as well as the, <laughs> the Sydney. Okay, last pack, guys. My last chance to hit something. I don't think I hit anything, sadly. The tragedy of it all. So this is the last pack, guys. Uh, David Perron, 
Jiggy. It's a nice Markov. Colton Orr. Uh, oh, cool. So I, what I did hit was one of these Magnificent Seven cards. Uh, I was hoping to hit one of these, hoping to hit the Lafleur, but hit the Brodeur. So that's not bad. A couple of Brodeurs up in this thing. And that's basically it, guys. So I'm going to do a quick recap. I did not hit a two on two jersey. I do own some of those, by the way, um, somewhere stored away, but I did not hit one. Sadly, tragically, you might be luckier, but for $10, $15, I mean, whatever. So that's basically it, guys. I'm going to do quick retelling of our story. Hey, guys, time for the recap. So with regard to base, we have a 300-card checklist of base. And snap, crackle, pop, we received this stack of approximately about 120 base cards, maybe 117, 18. Uh, and they are all, by definition, silver scripts back in this era. There's Jordan Tutu. He does not wear a tutu. Uh, the cool blue bordered cards. Uh, in terms of our inserts, our base inserts were one every second pack and the rookies were one every second pack. So we received sort of representation of all the various inserts. I believe it's a 15 card checklist of the uh, Phenoms. And we did receive uh, four of the first line Phenoms, including Gino, Zach, Parise, Nick Backstrom, and uh, Mueller. So that would be these four cards up in it. Uh, we did receive four of the Mark by Ballard cards. I believe that would also be a 15 card checklist. Uh, so we made our way towards uh, that. We received actually five of those cats. We did receive the Marty Brodeur as well as the Stahl, uh, the Peter Forsberg, the OV, and the Nikki Lidstrom. So we rounded out five sets, so a third of that particular checklist of those base inserts. Uh, we did receive a couple of the grade eights. There are grade eight cards, which are really kind of cool. It's an eight card checklist, obviously. Uh, one's OV and the other one would be OV because they're all OV. So these would be our OV inserts. Um, Magnificent Seven, I think it's only a seven card checklist, so I was hoping for the Lafleur, uh, but we did hit Marty Brodeur, so that's kind of cool, these are nice. Uh, these are all sort of standard looking, um, interesting, if you will, uh, base inserts. And rookies are one every second pack, so we did receive 12, we received a good stack of these, um, mostly sort of lesser known names, more or less. Uh, fortunately, we did receive one of the big three or four. We did receive Luke Shen, uh, and we did receive Drew Doughty, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Drew Doughty, who's played over 800 games at this point in his career. So they would be the rookie cards, a nice chunky uh, stack of those. Uh, and then the last thing, because this happens to be a Winter Classic box, uh, that's sort of what they focus on. We received this crazy stack of Winter Classic cards. It's a 20 card checklist and we received over 40 cards. So we actually received two full sets of these Winter Classic cards. Two entire full sets uh, for whatever reason within this retail box. We did not hit an auto, 3.3% 3, 3 chance of hitting an auto. We did not hit the 50% chance of hitting the uh, two on two jersey cards, which I've hit in the past and you do certainly hit. Uh, you're guaranteed them, I believe, in the hobby box. So that's basically it. Um, these are cool, but they're mm, duplicates. I, I will give away the contents of this entire box to whoever wants it. Just let me know. Um, but an interesting break for, you know, for $15 or whatever this costs. It was actually kind of a fun product. Definitely uh, good for the kiddies. Uh, please provide a like. Please provide a comment. Uh, please subscribe. Unfolding Cards Live and Direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. <laughs>